Hello, I'm Nancy Crane Burns, president of ISPI, and Dale Brethauer was a very important guest at many of our ISPI Michigan chapter meetings. When Al Crane and I presented at the ISPI Philadelphia conference, Dale attended our Swimming in a Data Lake presentation. When we thanked Dale for attending, he said, I just saw the topic and thought I needed to be there. We honor Dale for his service to ISPI and for inspiring us all. Hi, my name is George Gu, board member and president-elect of ISPI. In year 2020, two years ago, I invited Dr. Dale Berthauer to my training master series interviews, but I never get a chance, get a chance to actually interview him. What a pity. What I want to say is I want to really thank Dale for his contribution to our industry, bringing performance improvement to the next level. Thank you, Dale, and we're going to miss you for a long, long time. Rest in peace. I first met Dale when he was on the board of directors for Triad Performance Technologies, where I was a junior project manager at the time. I recall thinking, how terrific to have a professor on the board. Uh, once I saw Dale in action at ISPI conferences and realized what an esteemed author and speaker he was, my awe just increased. Uh, and as I had the chance to get to know Dale and his wife, Carolyn, I also realized what genuinely kind and giving individuals they both were. I started my own business in 2004, and they could not have been more supportive or done more cheerleading. And of course, they shared many insightful nuggets and sound advice that has served me well. They will be missed. Hi there, this is Danny Langdon. I'd like to reflect a little bit on my friend, Dale Brethauer. I think we first met in 1967 at the, my very first conference and uh, I, we saw one another virtually every year over the next <laughs> 40 years or so and uh, that culminated in his participation along with me with something called the Tucson 7. And, and the thing about Dale, when we ever had those meetings where we were exchanging our models he brought sanity to the place. <laughs> and when you, you're around people, you know, like uh, Gary Rumler and, and Roger Kaufman and, and Claude Landberry and Roger Kaufman, <laughs> people like that, you need some sanity. And I was always, one of the things I enjoyed about being with Dale. So thank you, Jill, Dale, for the many years. Dr. Dale Brethauer has been an early and continuous influencer in my thinking and my knowledge base, and thus my career in human performance technology. He helped me be courageous in taking a people-centric approach to implementing new computing technology back when many organizational leaders still considered, as Dale has said it, cost items to be controlled and told what to do versus human resources, assets that deserve investment and development in order to add continued value through change. No, let's not just slap newfangled online systems onto people's desks. Let's take a systemic view of the enterprise and invest in helping people learn new behaviors and thus improve performance and achieved return on investment. I have avidly read and iteratively learned from Dr. Brethauer's published articles, especially those in Performance Improvement Quarterly throughout the evolution of my career. Dr. Dale's continuous learning and generous sharing of his knowledge will be greatly missed in the HPT community. 
Thank you and Shalom Dale. Hi, my name is Judy Hale and I'm really privileged to be part of this tribute to Dale Breath Hour. I met Dale, well, actually when he was president of ISPI and he was the one that had the vision for the certified performance technologist. He is the one that listened to our corporate members who really wanted to find a way to better identify people who knew how to do this work, how to, how to hire them, how to identify them, what to look for and things like that. When I think of Dale, I think of somebody who's a very quiet man. Now, I always kind of giggle, I don't know that his students would agree with that description, but I always found him quiet, like to the side, but ever present. He was very much attuned to what was going on. He took the time to have his voice heard. He took the time to keep us on track. He was truly a disciplined professional in this field. He had this vision for us, and I was honored to be asked to execute that vision, whatever. But he knew the implications. The, he had the foresight to see how important this really was. Anyway, I would like to say I'm really honored to be here and honored to recognize him. And I would like all of us to really value his contributions to ISPI. Thank you. I first met Dale Brethauer back in 1980 at either a Detroit chapter meeting of NSPI back in the day or at the NSPI conference in Dallas in 1980. I don't remember exactly when, it was a long time ago. I attended many of his sessions at NSPI and at ISPI over the years, and I was always intrigued by the parallel thinking and approaches to things that he took with his good buddy, the late Gary Rumler. They were friends at the University of Michigan and were involved in uh, many of the things that developed some of our early models uh, regarding performance technology or human performance technology. I also had the pleasure of serving on the board of directors when Dale was president back in 1999 and 2000. Um, and I served on many committees with him before and after that. So he was always a pleasure to work with, a very, with a very nice man. Dale left us with many insights, including one of my favorites. If you aren't adding value to society, you're subtracting value. Rest in peace, Dale Brethauer, and thank you for all that you've done for us and the profession and for ISBI. Thank you.